we're back at the Tate Modern in London. Last week I covered Magdalena Abakanovic's exhibition, and today we'll be exploring the Slovakian artist Maria Batasova's plaster works. The exhibition covers 30 years of Bartosova's work, from the early 60s up until the 80s. Looking at her organic sculptures, you can probably tell that nature was a big inspiration for her, along with her spiritual connection with it, interpersonal relationships and her experiences. She used innovative methods in her sculptural practice. For example, in one technique that she explored in the 60s and the 70s, she used balloons and condoms to cast her plaster sculptures and let gravity shape the final pieces, while sometimes submerging the form in water during the process. Another technique in which she experimented with negative spaces in the 80s, she called pneumatic casting. Here she poured plaster over the balloon surface and again worked with gravity in the process to inform the shape, which turned out to be reminiscent of eggshells and membranes. This room demonstrates her intuitive work approach. Plaster was her primary medium but she also introduced bronze and aluminium later on. For a short time she explored geometric abstraction with this aluminium relief series. Infinite Universe combines her plaster work with natural materials. Here she contrasted the plaster's softness with more rigid edges and visualized weight and pressure in different ways.
This room explores the relationship between living organisms and their environment. She continued the theme of binding and pressure with strings and hoops around the shapes that symbolize the bonds and constraints of human relationships. This room shows some photography and models of her public sculptures. If you can, I highly recommend you go and see the exhibition in person. It's hard to absorb the tactility of the pieces on the screen. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and stay tuned as we'll be exploring the current Turban Hall installation by Cecilia Vicunia next. And make sure to check out the beautiful exhibition of Magdalena Abakanovic's textile pieces. I'll see you there!